guys yeah welcome back again to my channel i am confidence a mommy vlogger based here in abuja nigeria if today is your first time seeing my pretty face or coming across my beautiful videos on youtube i said thank you so much i really appreciate all your efforts towards my channel it's not easy but um may god almighty continue to bless each and every one of you so in today's video we're actually going to be talking about uh, the consequences of um the consequence of neglecting your spiritual gift yes so in my previous video i talked about our spiritual gift and uh, if you have not watched the video i will i will gladly link the video um um share the video link on this uh video on the description area so you will you will go there and check the video okay so what why why am i talking about uh what is the consequences of um neglecting your spiritual gift you know this our spiritual gift comes in a different way the same way our face are different that is the same that's the exact way our spiritual gifts are different okay so number one consequence co the consequence you will face you will see you will encounter by neglecting your spiritual gifts is sometimes like me i will use my ex myself as an example like when when you know when i knew that yes i have a spiritual gift i started running running away from this a particular gift like if you see anybody that has spiritual gift that person will never agree to do this type of work that's why sometimes when i come to online i will see a lot of people saying oh, i use this or use this one i'll just smile they don't know the reason why i'm smiling because if you have the spiritual gift my darlings you will never agree to do this until it starts spoiling things for you until it will start spoiling things for you a lot of people we like for me now when when i neglect my spiritual gift it's uh, uh, spoiling a lot of good good things that are coming to my way like i was rejecting suitors like is it that i uh, will say that this one has a big head is it that i will say that this one has a big tummy is it that i will say that this one doesn't have uh, doesn't uh is he's not tall i will just look for something else until one day when i had a terrible ass date that nearly cost me like cost my life i was just like okay i think that was on my traditional wedding day and i had a terrible everybody that knew me will know this story that day i had a terrible accident why because i neglected my spiritual gift and i want to go and settle down and they said no my cheese said no you must accept us you must do the you must do your calling if I open this side of my hand, you will see the marks. If I show you my nails, you will see the, the, the signs. It gives me it gives me mark on my body that I can never forget. Before then, I now said, okay, this is my calling. I have to accept it. I fell under the, like in the mirror, in the, in, in this place, on my traditional marriage day. Ask me, where did I go to? I went to go and buy cow leg. And there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people around that could go that, that market that the same day. But when we do the check-ins, when I do my consultation and all that, I find out that, yes, you are called to do this. And the, my cheese are not happy. And I was running. I said, no, I cannot do this. It spoiled a lot of things. How many of my, my businesses did I lose just in a twinkle of an eye? I don't know what happened. The thing we just spoil. The thing we just quench, just like that. Until I start, I, 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 I just say to myself, no, this is the time to, you know, to accept my calling. And finally, I am here. The consequences of uh, uh, of you neglecting your spiritual gifts. Sometimes through your dreams, you can even see you. For you to know that you are, you are, you are even spiritually gifted. You. Through your dreams, you will see you healing your healing people. Sometimes you will open a a, a, a a supermarket, all of a sudden, or any business, all of a sudden, the thing will start going down the drain. The drain. You will start asking questions. A lot of you will go to um consultation. That's Ibafa. You will think that Ibafa will just the consultation will bring the the whole problem that or the, the whole problem you have that day. That's not how consultation works. 
Con consultation is a gradual process. Consultation, you can come to do your consultation today. Your consultation will bring something out today. You will come tomorrow. It will still bring another some another thing that is is actually working in your life. But for you, you will, you will think that okay, when you go to consultation, they will just see all your problems at that that the same day. Anybody that's anybody that you go and consult in, in his own office or in his own shrine on his own altar, and that person lists all your problems to you, run. In aba as in. Wrong. They after your money. Consultation we see this one today. Consultation we see. Consultation doesn't finish. You do aha gradually, gradually. And that's why every day, if you know what you are doing, every day you must you must like, okay, let me maybe in a week or in a month, you ask to see to know what is happening in your life. You, the consequence of you neglecting your spiritual gift. Sometimes, if you're a woman, it basically happens in a woman's life. On a new woman needs to be too much. Yes. If you're a lady watching this video, pay attention. Sometimes you will dream and you will forget. Sometimes there will be a revelation in your dream. But when you wake up, you can never remember that thing. They wipe it away from your life. If you like, go and drink red oil. It will not come back. You have a calling. So you need to acquire, you need to just welcome it. If you're a lady, maybe you, before you, before you, you go and seek for consultation to know if you are spiritually gifted. My dear, you must have been seeing a sign that you have a gift. Sometimes people will say that this person is different. I don't, I, I don't understand the kind of life this person is living. I don't, your, your life is just different from others. The way you behave is just different from others. You have a gift. And the consequences for you neglecting it is around the corner. Sometimes they will allow you to get married. When you get married, it will be hard for you to give birth. Until you acquire it. A lot of, you, a lot of people are running away from their spiritual gifts. Because they are afraid of what people will say. Just like the way I was doing they were they, they, they are afraid of what uh what will my colleagues say like me after my nursing school in brazil i come back to nigeria to do a herbalist does how does that sound i was running like ah huh? me a nurse all the way from brazil and here i am doing a herbalist what will people say how will people take me you get but when the the, the consequence starts knocking on my door Nobody asks me confidence or I start this work. A lot of us have a gift, but we neglect it. A lot of us have a spiritual gift that can, you know, sometimes when you obey, when you follow your spiritual gift, it might be from your spiritual gift that you, people will get to know your name. People will get to know who you are. People will get to bless you. People will get to, you know, you know, help you in life. But oftentimes we neglect it. We run away. But remember, you see this spiritual gift of a thing. You can as well do it in a church will. I see a lot of people saying that they are spiritualists, they are herbalists, they are this one, they are a seer. But you will see their nails, long nails, long eyelashes, my dear. If you are ordained in this work, there are a lot of things that you will never put on your head. There's a lot of things that you will never put in your hand, in your body. Because the, as soon as you do it, your chi, that is your spiritual guide. They will give you punishment that nobody will ask you to go and remove all those things. And that's why when I come online, I see all those things. I smile. You know, a lot of people don't like when you go to the uh, place that they are telling you the truth. They like, Ebony, eh, eh, sharp, sharp. It's happening like this. They are doing magic. <laughs> Relax. It doesn't work that way. Consequence of you neglecting your spiritual gifts. You will see a woman being pregnant for almost two years. Sometimes 12 months, sometimes 13 months, sometimes 14 months. They will pray, they will pray, they will tire. 
It will be as if God is not answering you. It will be as if God is not seeing you. My dear God is seeing you. God Almighty is seeing you. Actualize your spiritual gifts. Welcome your spiritual gifts. A lot of us has it. Another one, another consequences of you neglecting your spiritual gifts. You will seek and tire. You will seek. Ebru Gigeba, they will carry you to this hospital. They will carry you to another hospital and still the same thing. Doctor, we know what is happening. Doctor, we just give you one sickness name. All this, their um, bongo grammar. They will just give you one, one name and tell you that this is what is happening to your life. And that is not. And when you go to all this, uh, our pastor of nowadays, they will just tell you that it's the spiritual forces. They will not tell you that you have a gift. Go and actualize it. Nachita has come back. Come back to when you come to when you when you when you are coming back to, when you are how do I put this English English child ah, help me when you see this life now before you come into this world there are spirits there's a spirit that ordained you and when that spirit come knocking your way you need to obey they are not coming your way in order to destroy your life they are coming your way in order for you to use their gifts they have given to you naturally to help people around you to heal people around you to to to, to bless people around you but because of what people will say we run, we, we 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 neglect our spiritual gift and now is it that way there is no there's no man asking us out is it that they, they even if they ask us out, we end up hating the man? Is is it that the man is we end up hating us? Is it that our business will just collapse? Is it that you will come to a business your business place? You will sit and sit and sit and sit. Nobody will come and ask you, ah, did you come out today to sell? Why not go and consult? Talk to your God. Why not go and ask questions? To know your 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 chiolowa, that is your reincarnate God. To know to actualize their gifts, it mustn't be that you do. It is not a must. You do it in a harbor way. You can do it in any way possible. Any time, any day, you realize your spiritual gift is 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 still the best. It's still the best. But the earlier you know that you have a spiritual gift, even from when you are a child. A child, you will know that you behave different. You know that there is a spirit that always communicates with you through your dreams, through physical like this. You'll be hearing sound, you'll be hearing messages coming through your mind. If you are not seeing this, just realize you don't have any spiritual gifts. But if you know that you are seeing all those things, you are seeing these signs, my dear, look for solution. It doesn't mean you you will do it in this my way. You will do it, you can do it in a church way, provided you answer your call. You answering your call, you will find out that you will, you, people will, people will help you for no just reason. You will, you know, all these things that you know, some, some guys, even women, when you neglect your spiritual gifts, you will end up being a drunkard. Like you will just, nah, 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 nah. you understand? Some, they, they look that they, they even made them mad. Like, you understand? Because they neglect their spiritual gifts. There's a lot from January to December. There's nothing to give account. Shop na bagoda oko in the area. Your own must be among. It will be as if God has God have there's there's nothing to there's there's God have in fact God forgot whosoever you are, whoever you are that God God have neglected you. You are the one that neglected your spiritual gifts, and you need to find out why how. The earlier you realize your spiritual gift, the better for you. Yes. And if you will be okay. You'll be fine when you do that. Spiritual, your spiritual gift is your gift ordained by your spirit guide, ordained by your God of creation. Stop neglecting it. Stop thinking of what people will say. You see that sickness that has been happening to you here and there is because of your you, you neglecting your spiritual gifts. You seeing them as nothing. You feeling that they cannot help you in life. You feeling that oh, you know. Let me let me also tell you. You see, Christianity is a title. It's not your identity. Christianity is a title. It's not your identity. A lot of a lot of us 
runs run away run away from all this uh, tradition of 18 because of the way they brought us up because of our 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 um, how do i put it our family generation how do i put it the way they brought us up generally they brought us up in a, in a Christian way, and because of that, we don't believe that there are spirits that can act as well call us to do some things. I don't want this video to be too long, and I think let's just uh, stop here, please. For you not to see a lot of there are a lot of consequences in, in in you neglecting your spiritual gift. So you just need to you know wake up from your sleep and uh, look for solution okay you might be a help to people around you you might be a, a doctor a healer in a in, in, in any way in any area you are to people that is around you please look for solution today and be happy tomorrow you see you not marrying you not marrying early man will come today man will go tomorrow because they are just pursuing everything that is everything that is coming your way everything good that is coming your way please my darlings find solution today and be happy tomorrow i love you guys today i love you guys tomorrow i will love you forever stay blessed and remain blessed please consider subscribing and i will see you in my next video but for now remain blessed bye